Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to give you an update on some of the projects that I've been looking at, and to be honest, there aren't that money, as well as drop some alpha on potatoes. As usual, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Everything you see in this video is just my opinion, and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Also, if you like this kind of content, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And of course, follow me on Twitter to get this information even faster. So the most hype upcoming project is still going to be meme land the potatoes went nuts this was a free mint and the floor price is currently 1.37 ethereum which is why i love nfts so much if you were lucky you won whitelist and got to mint this for free you currently have 2200 dollars now i personally paper handed mine after the ama there was a dump they went from 0.85 to under 0.6 then when they pumped back up i sold mine around 0.769 which in hindsight was a mistake because now the floor price is almost 1.4 ethereum so just less than double what i sold it for however the other night they did tweet this and they said staking is coming soon luckily i was on twitter and i saw it the second they tweeted it so i did go and purchase another potato although it's not like i'm a genius i bought mine for 1.28 they're currently at 1.37 not that far off if i sell right now i'm at a loss due to the fees but i do think it was a good buy and i am actually considering purchasing more because i believe there is going to be a a supply shock on these. There's currently only 5.75% of the entire supply listed. And when staking rolls out, I do think a lot less are going to be listed. So the floor can become quite thin. Now I did hear some alpha drop out of the MVP chat. This can be totally wrong. So take it with a grain of salt. But if my source is correct, the staking website is going to be dropping this Friday, Friday the 5th, and then staking is going to start next week. Now, as you stake it, your potato is going to level up. And there are going to be five different levels that your potato can reach. And as you stake it, as well as as it levels up, the PFP or the way it looks is going to change. So I'm assuming it's going to finally become this character that we do see on their website. But more importantly are the benefits that you get as it levels up because each level equals a whitelist spot for the meme list. So if your potato is level three, you are going to get three raffle tickets, level five, five raffle tickets. And if you sell it to somebody else and your potato is level five, it will not restart. So the person who buys it is going to be at level five and they're gonna get five raffle entries. Now there is no locking period for staking. If you wanna unstake, you can do it at any time. However, in order to stake, your potato is going to have to be unlisted from all the platforms, X2, Y2, OpenSea, and they are going to be checking. So let's say you stake it and then you try to list it. While it will allow you, they are going to unstake your potato. Same thing if you want to accept a bid, you are gonna to have to unstake it. Now they are going to incentivize you in a brilliant way way not to unstake your potato because when you stake it, it will take seven days to activate your potato, meaning it's not going to level up for seven days. And also you won't be able to enter any of the raffles for seven days. So unstaking to list it and then changing your mind is going to be a huge setback. Now the current floor price for the MVPs is very high at 30 Ethereum. These are actually going to give you a bonus or a boost for leveling up your potatoes. I do know some people with MVPs and they are stacking up their potatoes potatoes. I do think this can be a very big money maker as people are going to be more likely to buy a level five potato to get as many raffle tickets as they can, as opposed to buying a level one and then having to spend so much time leveling it up and potentially missing out on some whitelist. However, this being at 30 Ethereum, some people are comparing it to proof where proof has a very high floor price. Potatoes are at 1.4, which you can kind of consider the oddities or the beans to Azuki of that collection. So Memeland is set up to have a very strong floor price and i do know some people who have managed to sell their whitelist for three to four ethereum and i think meme land can do even better than that maybe even have a six plus floor on the secondary market however i do believe that that is quite a ways away as meme land i don't think it's going to drop for the next two months at least but like i said i do think there's going to be a supply shock so i am planning to pick some more up i only currently have one which i don't think is going to be enough so i'll 
I'll probably end up picking some more up. I guess in the future, I will be worried that once the meme list raffle tickets is done, what are these potatoes gonna be used for? However, 9gag or Ray have said that this is a utility-based NFT. So I do think they're gonna try to add as much value as they can to it, but it's gonna be interesting to see where the floor price is once all of this meme list stuff goes away. Other than that, like I said, there aren't too many projects that have popped on my radar. The first one that has caught my attention is going to be Yin Yang Gang. Now I first found out about this project due to the involvement of Mason Ghost, who as you can see is a core team member of the project. He is very popular in the Web3 space. Now as for the project itself, I don't know too much about it. The art looks really cool in my opinion. They're releasing some really great pieces. I do think that the NFTs themselves are going to be pixelated like you see here, and they seem like they're going to be fully animated. But the best thing about this is it is following the free meta. You could see here whitelist equals free mint. I'm not sure if the public sale, if they are going to do a public sale, if that is going to have a price to it. But if you get whitelist, this is going to be free. So essentially zero risk. Now I am seeing a few people get fed up with the whole free mint meta. I do think it is somewhat hurting the space as people are kind of not willing to pay for mints anymore, or they complain when there is a mint price. Everybody wants a free mint to go to the moon. Now that isn't realistic. We can't expect every single project to launch to have funding or have a rich founder that can afford to do a free mint. But unfortunately for the people complaining, I do not think this meta is ever going to go away. I think we're always going to see free mints, but we will see waves where sometimes they perform better and sometimes they perform worse. But as for this project, I do believe it is going to be one of the free mints that does perform well. So not financial advice, try to get whitelist for this one. The last project on today's list is going to be Izu. Now this one is also getting very hyped due to it being the sister project to Psychedelics Anonymous powered by Valtura. Valtura is very well known in the space and Psychedelics Anonymous did perform very well. So a lot of people are wanting to get this. When I did a giveaway, I got a ton of DMs of people asking me to rig the giveaway and give them whitelist. That's not how it worked. And if I was going to rig giveaways, I would just give myself the 10 whitelist spots. Now it will be the first ever cross chain mintable Ethereum NFT on the Magic Eden launchpad. You're going to be able to mint it both in Ethereum and Solana. If you haven't heard, Magic Eden is going to have a marketplace for Ethereum NFTs. I think this is great because we need more competition for OpenSea so OpenSea can step up their game. And it's just healthy. The more competitors we have, the better the products are going to be because they want to retain their position or achieve a position as a market leader. But back to the project, like I said, there isn't much information on it. Even on their website, we don't have too much. Now the NFTs are going to be somewhat similar to Psychedelics Anonymous, except here it does seem like the characters are all females. It's hard to tell because they're wearing masks, but I'm just going to assume their gender. Now the characters do seem, I guess, lighter because there's more light in the pictures. However, they do seem a bit more enlightened or looking at this. It seems like, I don't know, I feel like they have knowledge and they also do use different elements. If we go to the website here, you could see light, vapor, liquid, and earth. But that is really all the information we have. There isn't that much on the website beyond being able to see who the team members are as well as their mission statement. But like I said, this one is expected to do well simply due to the relation to Psychedelics Anonymous and the floor price of that project, as well as it being a project by Valtura. So another one, not financial advice, but I would try to get whitelist for this project because I am expecting it to perform very well. Well, other than that, crypto has been kind of trading sideways. This is something I said I would expect to happen. Bitcoin is currently at like 23,000. It's been hovering between 20 and 24,000. As for Ethereum, it has pumped recently. One thing to keep an eye on is going to be the final test before the merge. The merge is set to happen in September. However, we are having the final test on, I believe it's August the 6th, which is in two days from now. So mark that day on your calendar. If that goes wrong, I do think we see Ethereum 10 even if it goes well, sometimes you have a buy the rumor, sell the news situation. But if it goes well, we do have a green light for the merge happening in September. So definitely something that all of us in the crypto space, not just Ethereum, not just NFTs, everybody should be keeping an eye on. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.